Hey, 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 welcome back, Trash Fish episode something, something yep. or other, because I don't think I'm keeping track. <laughs> the fact that we're just actually being consistent yeah. has been good, so... Yeah, this is uh, the fifth week in a row. Yeah. Yeah. Good job for us. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, I think I might have found where that echo is coming from. Where's that? I don't know. Oh, okay. We'll find out in the post. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, this is our, our fifth run with um, the new show, our yep. maybe third run with the new equipment, so we're still trying to um, make some adjustments, Yeah, figure that stuff out, how can we, you know, run a decent show yeah. uh, with, you know, less than $100 worth of equipment. Yeah. Um, maybe that should be the title of our yeah. show. But also not relying on... You know, a Samsung smartphone for all of that legwork. Indeed. Yeah. So. Yeah, things I think have been uh, a little bit easier, at least yeah. on your end, as far as yeah, yeah, not having to like pull shit off the cloud mm-hmm. and then try to put it on the computer. And right. Then... Right. Yeah, and we can do real sound checks and you yeah. know uh, actually see what we're doing live. So. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we should. Um, would it be too crazy for me to put it out here? Like in two weeks. Maybe three weeks we tried uh, Twitch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm into Since it. Is that something we've talked about? Yeah. Um, I don't know what time you Twitch, if there's, like, the Twitching hour. Oh, I think there is the Twitching hour, but I think that's probably more gaming. Yeah. Uh, and all know. the dweebs get off work and they want to watch some... Exactly. Line up, you fucking nerds. Nerd all right, girl it's time to... playing Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah. we got to find our own Twitching hour. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, maybe in a couple of weeks we could start at least putting something up on yeah. and uh, teasing that thing out on either the Instagram and yeah. or on YouTube. Oh, and, I mean, yeah, can... and speaking of you know new platforms, oh, yeah. a little announcement. Yeah. So we are now on um, Anchor, mm-hmm. Anchor FM, and they have shared our podcast, like the audio version of what you're watching right now, or maybe you're listening to this yeah. on one of these platforms, yep. Spotify iTunes, uh, Pocket Casts, um, Stitcher, and Google Podcasts. Yeah. And we're I on think, all of those. Yeah, uh, but we're still going to, I think, have to put links down because as we yeah. tried to earlier... It might be a little difficult to search us on there, but we'll throw some links in the description and on social media. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely stoked about Spotify. That's the platform I use the most out of any of those. Same here, yep. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, <clears throat> yeah, I'm it's... looking forward to, um, you know, getting an audience that, um, you know, is more interested in the, the audio version of our show. Yeah. Or, you know, it's more convenient for them. Yeah. Apparently, uh, I'm part of this and I didn't even listen to it, but uh, apparently you got to go listen to, uh, accidentally fastings, uh, return oh, yeah. back to the nineties. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Marty. There's something wrong with your kids. We're right, going right. back. Yeah, so uh, the never-ending <laughs> episode that we did with Accidentally Fasting last week um, has a second part to it. Yeah. Or a prequel, a sequel. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, find out for yourself. Um, the link is in the last video's description, um, and that's on all those same um podcasting platforms i just mentioned right. uh, accidentally fasting the never ending episode featuring trash fish yeah we uh get into some 90s nostalgia yep and argue about you know who the real 90s kids are yeah is it me and my folks or you know yeah tim and the 80 bo- 80s boys yeah so well, i mean yeah I, that's like the ongoing when people are like oh i'm a child of this like yeah yeah but I mean, I'm a child of the '80s, but fuck if I could actually tell you like the that's how I feel about the '90s. Yeah, beyond like Ghostbusters and uh, I mean there are things, but '90s is like where I actually had like formed memories. Yeah, exactly. Then I was like, seven. I don't have memories before I was seven or eight years old, yeah. like kindergarten. So yeah. I don't really count the '90s as you know. I don't count myself as an active 90s child. Right, yeah. A product of the 90s. I was definitely more influenced by the early zeros. Right, <laughs> yeah. The aughts. The aughts, The yeah. early aughts, yeah. yeah. Um, which, 
that shit's weird to me. People who are like, oh, I remember. I have a distinct memory when I was three and a half years yeah. old. Like, man, no, no you don't. Yeah. And if you do, there's probably some weird trauma attached to that. And whatever yeah. regressive therapy you're in. Double up. Oh, yeah, or double down, yeah. or something, because you're about to like unlock some shit that you wish yeah. you hadn't like recalled. Uh, right. Not a therapist, uh, not trained as a therapist, but uh, I know a little bit how the mind operates as far as uh, compartmentalizing. So yeah, uh, yeah, that shit isn't good. That no, no, nope. Uh, yeah, what do you got? You got anything? I mean, I don't think we have, like, a special, um, another special, but, uh... Yeah? Just shit, I don't know, man. It's been a crazy week for me. Yes, um, it has. Do you want to talk insurance oh, sure. companies, or do you want to talk, oh, uh, what, uh... I don't know. We're, uh... Just, yeah. like, a little recap of, like, like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> My man's what's been happening got here. fucking head on wrecked into, yeah. yeah. So, uh, the day after we recorded that last show, I was just cruising to work, uh, stopped at a red light, just, you know, listening to some music, normal Monday shit. And, uh, like you do. Yeah. Car appears out of nowhere in uh, the turning lane to my left. This dude is driving on the wrong side of the road, and I won't get into too much detail, but basically dude is driving against traffic and sideswipes me and uh, was not drunk. According to the police, who took an hour and a half to get there and um, was like super apologetic. I called it in as a hit and run, but he showed up a few minutes later, stumbled out of the bushes, um, said he passed out and woke up in his car. And um, yeah, he had insurance. That's yeah. I was talking to somebody the other day, um, a friend of mine that moved out of state. And they're like, you know, in Albuquerque, we're in Albuquerque. We're surprised when somebody has insurance. We're surprised when somebody sure. stops their vehicle after hitting you. Yep. Not the other way around. Like, yeah. can you believe it? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I was legitimately surprised. This guy came back to the scene of the crime and was, like, sympathetic and, like, sorry, I almost killed both of us and I have insurance. And, yeah, sure, I'll wait for the police. And there were witnesses. It was a strange day in Albuquerque for me. Yeah. Um, or just a regular day in Albuquerque? I mean, I, I would have anticipated the opposite, where a guy hits me and I never see him again, and nobody yeah. stops to check if I'm okay. Yeah. So, yeah, shout out to the people that checked on me. I'm okay. There were no injuries. It was just really weird. Yeah. And now it's just drama on the insurance front. Yeah. Per huge. So. I'm going to I am gonna say this, though, to, to my guy who uh, was going the other way and passed a field sobriety test, which... Good. Good on you for not fucking boozing at two in the afternoon. Right. Um, but, you know, I don't, I know that those aren't like that comprehensive that they're checking for like pills and all kinds yeah. of stuff like that. But that also leads me to wonder like, sh it, when he says, I passed out, should he have even been behind the wheel of a car? Yeah, exactly. Like, that's kind yeah. of where like my head went. And right. like, once again, I'm not saying, that, like, I'm not bagging on the dude. Like, um, it just feels well, like and one it's of those unclear weird... when he passed out. Right. Was it before he got into the wrong lane, or right. was it when he hit me, or after he hit me? Yeah. And yeah. I mean, there are, there's a whole slew of like questions to ask there. Yeah. Um. Or is he a complete scumbag and just fucking did some dumb shit and then tried to pull the whole like, oh, I'm a narcoleptic. Yeah, right. <laughs> I just took a nap. Yeah. Oh, God, fuck. Like, I that whole thing, like, and it's weird because, like, what do you, I, you know, like, I don't know how that works. It, I Presumably, if he is, like, diagnosed with something, I, you know, in this, like, the modern age that we live in, like, most doctors aren't going to tell you you can't drive unless it's something, you know, like, that's a whole thing. Like, that is... There's a lot that goes into that. I mean, right. That's why there's fucking, you know, octogenarians or whatever the fancy word for 90-year-olds yep. uh, behind the wheel 
because all they actually have to do is renew their license like i think every two years or maybe it's every year with a driving test i don't think it's a driving it's a test. test and once again uh people may be unfamiliar with how things work here so we are we don't have like a state mandated mvd we actually have that like there is one but you can also go to it's been privatized out. oh so yeah you can actually it's pay privatized. to um they're like drive through mvds basically yeah but you just pay like a 30 dollar convenience fee and granted it's convenient as shit like, i mean some of them are basically like self-service to some extent yeah like you, you know, kind of go in and you scan your documents and you check yourself in yeah and boom boom pow yeah but like i just had to get my new id and uh they were like uh okay eye exam because i wear glasses and i'm blind as shit without my glasses or with contacts and they were like okay read the top line for me in the little uh you know viewfinder right and there was a moment where i couldn't see any of that shit and yeah. like i know my prescription is fine because like I drive every day. I can see things just fine. And, like, I'm conscientious enough to know if I'm like, oh, fuck, I can't see anything. I, I need to go change up. But I know I read, like, half those letters wrong. Uh -huh. And the lady was like, word up. Here you go. Good enough. Yep. And which makes me feel like people are going in there who shouldn't be driving. Yeah. And But they're paying the convenience fee. Right. They're not going to, like, get turned down. They're not going to, like, shoe a customer. At that point, it's a customer. Because it, then it's no longer, like... I mean, they have to follow, like, certain statutes that are state-mandated. But there are other things where they're just like, yep, yeah, cool. Fucking, you know, Blanche, she's doing fine. I know yeah. Blanche is 92 and, like, so arthritic that oh she can't God. even, like, grip a steering wheel properly. Yeah. But, like... Now she's behind the wheel. Or this guy. I mean, that's the thing. If there is something medically going on there, which, once again, I'm not saying any of this. Like, Yeah. It just... I mean, you, you would think in the case of, like, a medical condition, like, you would declare that condition or you... use it to justify, like, your actions in right. some way. But he was pretty much like, oops, yeah. sorry. I don't remember. I mean, I don't I know. I don't know. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm not... Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised. I'm not speaking about this guy in particular, but going back to, like, the thoroughness of the system or, you know, lack thereof, you know, of any yeah. kind of proper follow-through, I'm surprised that, you know, having been in this state my entire life, that so many people are able to pass the written test, <laughs> which requires you to, <laughs> oh, A, yeah. be able how to read, yeah. know how to read, yeah. know how to write. Yep. Or click on a computer screen. Yeah. I mean, it's all... I mean, I took mine... I'm old enough now that I, like... I Yeah. Yeah, I, it's like multiple choice on a computer for me. Oh, see, so yeah, multiple choice, you know... Uh, and, like, I like know the, the rules of the road, sheet. as they call it. And yeah. they, you know, they had given me this, like, um, this binder. You know, I didn't do the underage driver thing where you get a license when you're 15. Yeah. I got a license when I was 22. Yeah. So I didn't have to do the, like, log so many hours with mommy and daddy and right. blah, blah, blah. But I still, I like, I went through and, like, I read some stuff because there are some, I don't know, like, specific, like, scenarios that I wanted to, like, be fresh on. Right. Like, I didn't know what kind of wrenches they were going to throw out there. But I should have known, like, everybody fucking drives in this state. Yeah. And we have the lowest, like, graduation rates and some of the worst or the worst education in the country. Yeah. Uh, New Mexico, by the way, if anybody is like wondering and can't put two and two together, but uh, and Albuquerque is not the capital, in case you're wondering as well, because right. that could be a thing that you're wondering. But uh, yeah, we're real bad. We're uh, we're real. Yeah. We're real bad in a lot of things, and like I don't want to turn this into a, right. like let's bag on the state. Right. But there are things about this place that sometimes right. are. It's real rough. Yeah. It's real fucking rough sometimes. It's been a bad week in general, just in regards to that, like, out on the road. Yeah. Just f the sh fucking things that I'm like... Well, it's... it's. What it was, you, we just got through Cinco de Drinco weekend. Yeah. 
Oh, fucking, of course. Yeah. I didn't even, like, put that together. I didn't even think about that. Yep. All right. Yeah, yesterday was Cinco de Mayo. Yeah. And, uh, but, I mean, if you start early on the 4th, it makes sense. Start on the 3rd? Yeah, well, you know, you may, start when you start. May the 4th be with you. I didn't hear anything about Star Wars this weekend, surprisingly. You know what? I, mean, I was every, actually really... Has everybody given up on Star was, Wars? <laughs> You guys missed our lost Star Wars episode. Yeah, that's true. I'm so sorry. Everybody's just that. waiting for the Mandalorian show, and then they're just oh, gonna God. fuck off. <clears throat> um, that's yeah. You know what? I was on Reddit. I was waiting for like all the, you know. Well, look at my neck wearing my stormtrooper mask. Nah, fuck you. Right. And none of that. I didn't yeah. see any. I mean, maybe you just have to go. Maybe there's a subreddit now. I don't know. There's maybe like I don't a know. Star maybe, Wars is usually. Everywhere you don't have to look for it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't know. It is one of those. It's so. Oh, actually, no. That being said, uh, at work, everybody was allowed to wear a Star Wars themed shirt on Saturday. Oh, okay. And was that like a, an announcement they made? You know, if it was, uh, I didn't hear it, and that's funny because I'm in management. Uh-huh. So, <laughs> and whatever. Uh, Communication, something we're always working on, but uh, it, it, oh man, so I can be a real motherfucker when it comes to like, uh, like I love some nerdy shit. Mm-hmm. I had a big conversation with a guy I work with. Like, it's great until it's not great because all the people who just want more and more and more of it. And we've had this conversation mm-hmm. before, but that like. Just keep making it because it's the best and it's the only thing that... Oh, God. And, uh... Then you see, like... It's easy to do that up here or just be a dick about it like I can be. Sure. And then you see, like, people who do, like... Are friends with and, like, kind of care about. And you're like... And you see them, like, wearing shirts like that and you're like <laughs> oh man that's right like this is like a thing for people who do just like really like love it because it's like part of their childhood yeah, or like it's a thing that and then i feel like a fucking asshole and need to like the time stone to go back to the part where um, i wasn't fucking being a the most cynical man on earth yeah exactly yeah. which i mean i don't know where that takes me uh probably back to that uh before memory. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Regressive. Or, yeah. Re- regressive uh, point in my... Yeah. Yeah, retro. Like, retro, <laughs> retrograde memories. Back yeah, the 80s, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Marty, there's something wrong with your brain. We have to go back in time and, <laughs> and fuck it. But, yeah. No, it's... Uh, I, but I did forget about Cinco Day. Yeah. Day Draco. <clears throat> oh, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I stayed inside. Yeah, I mean, I that yeah, I I had no choice. I had to be at work so goddamn early. There was no way I would just show up smelling like goddamn tequila if I yeah. tried to, to do anything. So <laughs> it didn't matter. But um, yeah, what what anything? What else? You got that? Um, I don't fucking know, man. It's just it's. Starting to feel like summer, and I, I, winter is supposed to be like the bummer season, right? Like everybody gets their like winter, yeah, like mood or their mansies during like the winter months, and <laughs> suicide rates go up, yeah. and everybody gets depressed and like stuck in the house. But yeah. summer makes me feel real weird too. Yeah, um, you know, it's like here we are talking about the fucking weather on our podcast um yeah it, it, hey, it, well, just, it gets welcome like welcome to trash fish it's like <laughs> so hot so suddenly and it just i guess like i'm an old bitchy man too like it yeah it bothers me you're in the right place like one day i'm just like on my like my everyday struggle my everyday whatever yeah routine and then then it's like oh now my fucking balls are sweating yeah and yeah. it's really fucking hot and dry. Yep. And I, like, feel this, like, inner pressure to, like, it's warm, it's sunny, you don't have excuses, you better get out there and, like, climb a mountain or go on a jog. Like, yeah, you don't have excuses, there's no snow or ice on the road, quit being a little bitch and get some fucking exercise or go hang out with some people and... 
you know, maybe that's not something worthy of complaining about, but that's kind of, that's what's new for me. I'm like, I'm feeling the summer thing and like the pressure to like be like a human being and not like be like caved up in my living room, like eating chicken nuggets and like watching Netflix. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's, I shouldn't even be complaining about that. No, I mean, I it's, get out there and do some shit. It's but. fair. I mean, I'm, I'm in, I'm in that boat in a different way. I, uh, I have like you know, terrible body issues. So I, uh, I appreciate the winter time and the fall time. Cause that means I can just like cover up all my oh, shame yeah. with like layers and yeah. all that stuff. And then sure. I don't look like a fucking psychopath when I'm wearing, you know, <laughs> a heavy flannel in May because yeah. I'm like, Hey, what's up? Like, how's it going? Man boobs is in the house. Like, no, oh, you can just, you know, I mean, I could just wear all black, but I still, yeah. you know, you still well, kind of look I, like I, a maniac. I work in an industry where I, I, I've got all the excuses to wear long sleeves and dark clothes. But, That's true. Yeah. But then the rest of the time, you know, I do get two days off every week where, you know, maybe I shouldn't be under a blanket on the couch. Yeah. You know, staring at my phone or something. Or maybe that's just what the man is telling you. I don't man. know. Like, Who's the man now? Uh, Maybe it's all that TV I watch, and like I see people, like you yeah, know, fictional people doing stuff on fun, TV, having fun, doing and, things. Yeah. yeah, nobody talks about like that, you know, real ennui that is like. I mean, here, I straight up, uh, I kind of like spring. I really love fall. I do like the winter time. Oh, fall is nice. Yeah. Uh, but, but summer can go fuck itself. Like yeah. I'm, yep, no. And especially here, like, it gets hot. It gets real fucking hot. Yeah. And, like, unless you make, like, refrigerated air money, uh-huh. like, your house is hot. Yeah. And it's a, f- it's a constant battle with all kinds of shit. No. Fuck it. Yeah. I'm good. I'm, g- I'm good until the end of September. <laughs> yeah. I will continue to wear what I'm wearing. Yeah. And we're going to do this. Into like June and July, and I'm sure there's gonna be like episodes where my hair is kind of like oh yeah, matted, it's gonna be and you can see like the glistening. A hundred and fifteen degrees in this room. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Like I'm. Nobody's gonna get to see all the sadness under here. We don't want to do like trash fish at the beach. Nope. Like pina coladas. Oof. <laughs> Ooh, you're asking a lot there. If you feed me enough pina coladas, uh-huh. then I'm like... We could get you like a... I don't care. Like a one-piece bathing suit. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. With like sleeves. Yeah. You know what? Sleeves and full legs. It, here you go. A diving if, suit. If people want to see that, <laughs> and if that means you'll actually like view and comment <laughs> and say some shit at us that we can actually talk about, I might be up for that. Yep, might. Might. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I need, like, there has to be, like, their quid pro quo here. Like, uh-huh. the people who watch and or more people that could, like, come in, I'd need to see that before there'd be any, yeah. like, what's up? Who wants to see the, the fucking hairy bastard, yeah. like, talk about some stuff? No, I mean, I, we could do, know. like, uh, like everybody's doing now because it's, here's a little side, uh, side topic here. Um... You know, the challenges and they do on YouTube Yeah, and like the merch game. So challenges, like paid challenges, merch selling, the Patreon, all those like side things. Yeah. I just kind of put two and two together today because I'm like apparently fucking slow or something and have been trying to figure out this YouTube puzzle for a year. Yeah. People do that stuff because of this monetization stuff I've been bitching about. Right. So all these big YouTubers and vloggers and stuff that are getting in the tens of millions of views and subscribers, yeah, they're not making that good, good ad money off their videos. Because I wonder, like, I watch all these shitty YouTubers that are like, fuck, fuck, shit, your mom, bitch, whore, yeah. throw a dog out the window. <laughs> and I'm well, like, that's my favorite so, channel. so they can make money. And then I watch this other YouTuber who's getting flagged for saying the word blood or knife on his dark web mystery box channel right and he's like it's fairly wholesome content as far as like what he's saying yeah you know but then these other guys doing all this stupid shit and i'm like oh they're all demonetized 
or not or never monetized they're making money through the merch right they're making money through the um super comments Right. So you know about super comments? No. So you have a, a live YouTube video, a live stream, and people have to pay or make a donation in order to uh, make a comment. Okay. And the comment gets oh, read okay. aloud. Okay, yeah. Like I... by, you know, an Alexa Siri type voice. Okay. Um, so, and you set those parameters. So like, and some people make a lot of money on this. Like look up like Asian Andy. Asian okay. Andy? Yeah. Um, or uh, Shitface uh, Ice Poseidon. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you say, like, if somebody is going to make a super comment, they have to donate at least $100. And after that point, there are these other different, like, thresholds or limits. Okay. And, you know, they pay their $100, and then your phone or your device is like, you know, Asian Andy's a fat piece of shit, and he's going to kill everybody in here or whatever. And it's like super embarrassing for you, but you make money. Gotcha. Oh, they donate think, money. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Asian Andy's just the guy who goes and like hangs out in public spaces. Yeah, and he and like puts like, like a Bluetooth speaker in yeah. a Starbucks or something. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And there, there are thousands of guys doing this this way, and right. it's all content that could never be monetized. Like right. no like ad group is ever going to approve that content. Right. But they're making money off of their subscribers and the people that want to see them humiliated and on the other side it's not just like the humiliation stuff there are, are people that make are demonetized or unmonetized and make money off of just loyal subscribers right. and fans and yeah. patreon donors or people that buy their merch right um you know twitch works that way too so. yeah yeah no i mean that's the thing it sounds like but yeah so maybe like my goal for the past couple of weeks is like you know, how do I, like, write a formula for us to have a show that makes money? And, of course, obviously, there are all these other, you know, parameters we have to meet. Like, the 1,000 subscribers and oh. 10,000 hours, which, yeah. like, I'm just going to pretend, like, I don't have to think about that. Because right. Because that is, like, a million light years away. Yeah. I but mean, I'm I feel like, like that's why Twitch... But it's like, what if we were there, and then we don't make money? Because Rap Roll Call, our last show... Got flagged nonstop. Right. And I had no idea it was happening until I went and looked. Right. Um, and, like, you know, we can't make our 12 cents if Tim says fuck, like, two times instead of one time. Oh, we're definitely not making yeah. money. Or whatever. <sighs> Sorry, yeah. we're definitely so, not making fucking money. Then, so, so donations and... Right. I'm not saying we have to do humiliating challenges, like making you sleep in a swimming pool full of piss not right. that that wouldn't be like fun or entertaining but you know that's I like mean, the last resort if there's a payoff i guess mm -hmm. uh you know once again uh i mean i think some of it just like it, it has to come out for me there has to be some sort of like constructive something to it yeah you know like i'm not you know, and I'm all one for, like, just having fun and, like, laughing, too. Which oh, yeah. Which I find that constructive. But just, like, pure embarrassment, yeah, uh -huh. I'm not going to, like, walk around public yeah. and, like, walk up to people and say to them the things that other people are, like, right. you know, telling me to say. Right. Mostly because it probably would get me murked immediately yeah um yeah i'm not sure if either of us has the balls for that either yeah which i mean don't get me wrong i guess like that would be like youtube's first snuff film or whatever where it's just like yeah hey excuse me sir do you mind if i just <laughs> oh god <I'll... clears throat> um yeah uh are we going somewhere? i i don't really know where i was going with that um i think just I said i was gonna take a sidetrack and talk about monetization but uh oh well i think it's just yeah well i mean if we can wrap all this back around i had talked about we're gonna try to twitch in a couple weeks yeah yeah yeah. and yeah. we're always you know i think the bottom line is like if you're watching us thank you keep watching us for sure yeah if you, you like us and you know people who you think would like watching this tell them about it yeah or listening to it yeah yeah and we're gonna have like links in the comments yeah for the like uh, audio mm -hmm. you know, platforms yep. for this. Um, but yeah, we're just trying to like continue this sort of 
we're having a lot more. I mean, I can only I guess speak for myself, but we're having a lot more fun doing this show. I think because it's, fun. it's just yeah, uh, way more laid back, and we can kind of like we can get real serious, I guess, if we have to, but we can also be real light, and we're not you know in any way cornered in anything. It's just you know right now two bearded dudes mm -hmm. uh, just jibber jabbering and trying to like laugh about some bring some levity into yeah. uh, the day to day and. Yeah, we appreciate the support that we received, and we're you know always looking for more support. Yeah, um, yeah. I think that pretty much sums that portion up. Yeah, like I don't, I don't know. I say this a lot, and I I tell people this a lot in person, but it's the real deal, and it's not even just about monetization. But like, if you're watching this video. Or you're skimming it and like something about it is like the least bit like intriguing or you're listening you like something about it like just the way these platforms work is like in order for us to benefit in any way whether that's monetarily or just like being able to continue doing something because we, we know that our supporters yeah like it really would mean a lot if you could just show that like yeah. And like hit the like button or hit the favorite button on some of these other platforms, the little yeah. hearts, you know, subscribe or follow or whatever. Yeah. And I know everybody does this at the end of their video, the end of their podcast, but like a year and some months into it now, yeah. like I know it, it really makes all the difference. It does. And it's not about, so I can, you know, brag about our numbers or whatever, because we no. don't have anything to brag about right now and won't for a while, but, um, the, the systems that be won't support us unless you guys provide some kind of physical, you know, um, validation that you like what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. And so, I mean, unless I decide to just get on here one day and say something really problematic yeah. and uh, it goes viral, which I'm not planning on, not on purpose anyway. Uh, yeah, we're just sort of looking to everybody who's sort of a core viewer and... Um, you just sort of keep this thing going. We're gonna keep doing it. Yeah, we enjoy doing this. Like this is fun for us. Yeah. So like it's yeah. Twenty likes on this video and we'll touch butts in there the next go. video. Yes. Yeah. Create it's a, it's a creative <laughs> outlet for Fuck us. Fuck it, we're doing the challenges. Here we go. <laughs> Over yeah. overnight challenge in Thanos's butthole. <laughs> <laughs> oh Can man. Can we spend twenty four hours in Thanos's <laughs> tight? Purple butthole. Um, look, I'm not Ant Man, so I'm... <laughs> there you go. There's a challenge. There's a Twitch stream in there somewhere, which I think is we watch all the goddamn MCU movies back <laughs> to back to oh, back God, to dude. back to back to back. Wow. To back to back to back. Yeah, we need some <clears throat> hella vacation time for that. Um, I mean, I think. We could probably crank them out in like two days. 22 movies. Say they average two, two hours. hours. All right. 22. Math. 44. Yeah. Two days. We'd be fine. Throw in a couple three hours. Yeah, I, I guess mean, so. God damn, is, would that be miserable. Fine is all relative, but we'd be fine. Talking like peeing in bottles or... I mean, I, I Just keeping the movie going. Yeah, I don't know how extensive. I mean, <laughs> yeah. There's right, got to be some right. parameters. We'll talk. All right. We'll talk. <laughs> we'll get back to you. Yeah. Um, but maybe that first Twitch stream is an epic Twitch stream. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah we'll start. Break some sort we'll of dumb record. Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like I'm all. No, that's good. That's good. That's good. Jibber jabbered out. Yeah, we jibber jabbed a little bit. All right. Bitch and whined a little bit and gave our, sh our spiel. So. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, here's the thing. Uh, you need to go on and uh, please like or mm -hmm. dislike, yeah. subscribe, yeah. leave comments, tell your friends, do all the things, yeah. go to the grams. Check out our, our last episode, yeah. um, the never-ending um, episode. Yeah. Check out the the link in the description to that episode to the, the podcast version yeah. that Accidentally Fasting put up. Yeah. Shouts out to them and all their support. Um, and yeah, that's it. We'll, uh, we'll catch you guys... Yeah, we'll see you next week. Real soon. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Out.